Hey guys, so there is currently a problem that I was experiencing every now and then with Im uploading images with the same file names superseding one another or reverting back to an original image or just weird things going on if you upload an image with the same name to Weebly. Now, I'm going to show an example of this because some people are kind of having a hard time understanding this. Now let's do this for the example. So I created a folder right here on my PC called test. And I have three folders, test one folder, test two folder, and test three folder. For test one, <clears throat> now, actually, the, I will create three separate slideshows, right, on my blog post. I'm going to create a test blog post and create three separate slideshows. For example, the first slideshow will have test one images. The second slideshow will have test two images, so on and so forth. But for test one, we see test one, test two, test three. For test 2, we see test 1, test 2, test 3. And also, for the test 3 folder, we see test 1, test 2, test 3. So you see that the images all have the same names, right? Right? Notice that? Test 1, test 2, test 3 in all three of these folders. And I'm going to do separate slideshows for each. Now let me show you the names. So for the test 1 folder, it will be data via a spectrogram plot, which are what these are. For, just wait for it to come up. It's going to take a little while. I don't know why my computer's so slow. Give it a second. Come on, buddy. Okay, so now over here we do see September 1st, 2019. Go to the test 2 image, September 1st, 2019. Test 3 image, September 1st, 2019. So that is for the test 1 folder. For the test 2 folder, we're going to go to test one right here. July 4th, 2019 for test one PNG. July 4th, 2019 for test two dot PNG. And July 4th, 2019 for test three dot PNG. Now this is an example to show do not upload images with the same file names to Weebly. They will supersede one another. And here's the test three folder. <clears throat> Within the test three folder, we have test one dot PNG, August 31st, test two PNG, August 31st, and test three dot PNG, August 31st. So you see that each folder, they, they have different dates from the, one another, right? But the image file names are the same. Now let's test this in Weebly, right? Let's test this in Weebly. Let's go to my Seismo blog and create new post. <clears throat> okay, test, 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 okay. What we're going to do right here is we're gonna do one slideshow right here. Press continue. Upload photos from your computer. <clears throat> Now we are going, uh-oh, it's a little glitchy. Let's go to Ben's study folder, which is where I keep all my stuff. Come on, buddy. All the way up, all the way up to test. Right here, the test folder, right? So let's do the test one folder. Test one, test two, test three. Let's upload those images to Weebly via the slideshow. <clears throat> Give it a second. Okay, and press save. Now down here in the slideshow, we see it shows how it should. September 1st, 2019, because that is the date for the image on the images within the test one folder. Now let's do a second slideshow, shall we? Upload photos from computer. Now we're going to go to the test two folder. And you notice the names are all the same. Test one, test two, test three. Test one, test two, test three. And again, test one, test two, test three. So they all have the same names within the three separate folders. So we're going to do test two. This will be for the second slideshow right here. Now, remember, this should show July 4th, 2019, as I showed earlier in this video. And there it is. It is happening again. Press save. Do you not see that? 
right there. It says September 1st, 2019. September 1st, 2019. Well, that's impossible. Because if you go to the test 2 folder right here. Oh, excuse me. Let's go to the test 2 folder right here. Notice. Notice how if we open one of these in the test 2 folder. Uh, give it a second. Give it a second, guys. It says July 4th, 2019. Right there. So, that's impossible. Now, let's do this one more time, just for shits and giggles. Just to prove to you guys. Let's go to the test folder and go to test 3. In the test 3 folder, they are all from August 31st, 2019. Which is what the date should show when I add it to the slideshow. Because the it's, these images, when I generate them, are automatically labeled. This is not the file name. This is just an image slapped on the, uh, or it's just a, a date slapped on the image itself. So from the test three folder, they should show August 31st, 2019, August 31st, August 31st, right? Okay, well, let's go to my Weebly site and add another slideshow, shall we? Press continue. Upload photos from your computer. Go to test. Go to test three folder. Now you can even tell there's a lot of earthquakes you can see in this spectrogram image just from right here, right? So it should look much different from the original images I uploaded, right? Well, let's upload these. Again, they have the same names as the first slideshow. Click OK. And remember, it should say August 31st, 2019, right? Because that's what I showed in the folder. And look at this. Press save. Go all the way down. Look at that. September 1st, 2019. That is not the ones that I wanted. It just uploaded the wrong images. Now, I understand that Weebly saves the file names to their database. But if multiple images are uploaded with the same name, can't you do what a computer does if you keep it in the same folder? For example, if you were to name something 1.png and then name another one in the same folder 1.png, it will say, hey, do you want to replace it? And usually I'd say no, so you'd name it something else, really, right? Well, sometimes if you rename something the same thing within a folder, it can have in parentheses one, two, three, four, you know, so on and so forth. So this kind of, like, let's say someone didn't know this was happening and they have a business, right? And somewhere down the road, they upload an image with the same name of a product that they had months ago. Well, that image that they had months ago will now be the new image they uploaded and they won't even know it until someone brings it to their attention that there's the wrong image on their website. Now, this is a little frustrating, especially when, you know, I pay Weebly a good amount of money for the website. And of course, you know, you just, just name things differently. I understand that. That's what I'm doing now. But there were some things that took forever to fix just because of this one issue. So is there any way to opt out of the file name saving to Weebly's database? Because this is a little frustrating. And you can tell all three slideshows show September 1st, 2019. The second slideshow shows September 1st, 2019. And the third slideshow shows the same exact date. When in fact, the first one should be September 1st, like it is. The second one should be July 4th. And the third should be August 31st. This is the issue that I have been talking about for quite a while now. That people just really don't seem to understand. And I just showed it to you plain as day so any additional information besides keeping the names different which i guess i mean i guess you really got to go th you got to jump through hoops really you got to date and time every single image make sure every single image is completely the same and if you screw up once all original images that ever had the same name really will become the new image so there's got to be a way around this i hope there is that's it for right now see you later guys